I'll have to do. I've got to wear one. I can't bear to look at it anymore. It's the end of another week. We hope you're all well. And uh, we thought we'd finish it off as ever with another kid's story from our kid's story writing competition. This one's from LED Trainer, age five. It's called Harrison's Easter Adventure. The eagle-eyed, keen-minded, sharp-witted of you will no doubt point out that it's not Easter. You're absolutely correct, but we've been working our way through the list of stories that we have from the kids that have written into us. And Elodie, we're sorry it isn't Easter at the time of releasing your story, but we really hope you like it nonetheless. It's a brilliant story, and we can't thank you enough for sending it in. Remember, as ever, you can send your story entries to story at janomedia.com. We'll keep making them if you keep sending them. We're working our way through the list. And listen, yeah, it's another bank holiday weekend, so do your best to have a good one. Don't drive to the beach. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you all soon. Cheers. Harrison's Easter Adventure. There lived a boy called Harrison. He was a very adventurous boy. At last, it was Easter. Harrison was extremely excited. He went on an Easter egg hunt and saw a huge, sparkling Easter egg. He thought, if I climb into it, I wonder what would happen. So he did. He saw a large chocolate door and he bit right through it. When he walked through, he saw lots of Easter bunnies working hard. I wish I could grab all those Easter eggs, he said. He even saw the sweet queen Easter bunny who delivers all the Easter eggs. Harrison grabbed his Easter Bunny costume and got almost all the Easter eggs and brought them all back home. He shared them with his family. The end. <laughs> <laughs>